Shelley, how did you find out that you had osteoporosis how many years ago? And what was your first experience with when you got the diagnosis? So I was actually diagnosed uh, 17 years ago at the age of 53. And what I was experiencing was, uh, for the first time, uh, low back pain, which I know a lot of people experience, but mine, it was coming and going, it was new to me, and it didn't seem to be resolving. So at that time, I went to my internist, and she suggested that it was simply, you know, normal uh, arthritis from aging process and that I had to just kind of learn to live with it. So I did for a little while longer. And um, fortunately, I'm married to a physician who said this can be a sign of early cancer. And so you really need to insist on getting an x-ray, at least of your back. So I did. And the x-ray showed that, um, showed up mild osteopenia. And I didn't know at the time, but I know now that that means there's been significant bone loss for it to have shown up on a regular x-ray. That's what I was told after the fact. So had I not gotten that initial x-ray, which by the way, my back ended up resolving. So the, the pain was not related to my osteoporosis. Um, I probably would not have gotten a complete DEXA bone density scan until I was 65 and I was 53 at the time. So that would have been a lot of years that right. I would have probably incurred more bone loss. Was that first bone density of 53, which is quite young, um, did that actually show osteoporosis by definition? Yes, I had it done. And then I hadn't heard the results for a couple of weeks. So I called my physician's office. They said that it was on her desk and that she would be, you know, making arrangements to have an appointment with me to go over my results. So I asked for them to fax me my results in the meantime, because I always like to have a record of all my testing and, and medical records. And it was a good thing I was sitting down because my scores were pretty shocking uh, for my age, even though I did have some risk factors that both I was aware of and my internist was. And the main thing was that I had been getting the heel ultrasound screening in her office for three years prior, right when I started at menopause at 50, that stated every year that I had normal bone density. So it was an even bigger shock to me. So my scores were representative of what they called severe osteoporosis. So my first initial numbers were minus four in my spine, minus 4.2, and minus twos and threes in my hips. And I did quick research to realize I was really in trouble. So I right away uh, saw a bone mineral specialist. I didn't wait to go back and talk to my internist. Um, that's smart, especially when you're younger. I always say to people, that if it's not, you know, an older woman with standard, what we think of as age-related bone loss, um, then you need something called a metabolic workup to understand, you know, why is it that at this young age, even though, how old were you when you went through menopause? Were you 50? Um, 50. 50. So it was just the early years of menopause, but even then, one should not be that low at 53 years of age. Correct. So I had a whole slew of tests, right. to say the least. And they discovered an additional secondary factor that had not yet been, you know, realized. Oh, that's wonderful because now you found out one of the added risk factors beyond your underlying risk factors for bone health. 